So, have you ever wondered what the Kama Sutra is really about? I mean, clearly it's not a book about positions. So what is it that made all the grand old sages of ancient India spend so much time on this one subject? Why are there so many thousands of books written about desire and arousal and pleasure? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's because in ancient times they believed that pleasure was the pathway to heaven. It was not just the way that you developed your spirituality, it was also the way to develop every other aspect of your life. So what are those secrets? What is that wisdom hidden in this book that you can use for your life today to benefit yourself? Time to find out. Nestled in the jungles of Madhya Pradesh is a grouping of impressive and very intricately carved temples famous for their depictions of erotic scenes on the outer walls, thus gaining the nickname the Kama Sutra Temples. Most of the temples were built by the Chindela dynasty between 950 and 1050 CE. They once covered an area of just over 7 miles with 85 temples. But now only 25 spread out over 4 miles remain. The temples were in active use through the end of 12th century. But that came to an end in the 13th century when the Chindela kingdom was seized by the army of Delhi Sultanate. The area where the temples resided remained in Muslim control through the 18th century. During this time period the temples were subject to abuse, destruction and neglect. Over the centuries, due to Khajuraho's remoteness, the jungle reclaimed the area and the temples were mostly forgotten. In the 1830s the temples were rediscovered by British surveyor T.S. Burt with the help of locals. The temples are most well known for their erotically carved sculptures. But upon arrival it becomes more of a Wes Waldo activity to find these salacious scenes. Less than 10% of the sculptures are erotic in nature and they are known as karma scenes. Karma literally means desire, wish, longing, and is one of the four goals of human life in Hindu traditions. It is considered an essential human pursuit in balance with the other three goals Dharma, Artha and Moksha. All goals of human life are represented at the Khajuraho temples along with scenes of day-to-day -day life of medieval India, such as farming, playing music, and making pottery. It's possible that the Kama scenes are tantric in nature but more likely it's an homage to human life and actively. Whether one comes to peek at the adult content, admire the incredible art and engineering, or stroll around the lush grounds, it's well worth the time to make the journey. <laughs>